But, but the truth is that when we perform it, we shamelessly pick and choose our favourite lines. What you're about to hear is a mixture of the second quarto and the first folio. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobly in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing anything. To die. To sleep no more. And by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die. To sleep. Chance to dream, aye, there's the love. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil or must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but the dread of something after death? The undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns hustles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience doth make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly o'er with the pale cast of thought, and enterprise is a great pith and moment. With this regard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Between the second quarter version of Hamlet and its appearance in the folio, significant differences were made. 